I'm Catherine Sampson, and today we've reached the 10th and last in our series where we analyze what makes an outstanding piece of graphic design. It's the Obama Hope poster by Shepard Fairey. Fairey was an LA-based underground artist when he became internationally known during the 2008 United States presidential election for his Obama poster. Fairey wanted to help promote Obama's candidacy by producing an artwork and discussed the idea with a friend, Yossi Sargent, who was loosely associated with the Obama campaign. Sargent was instrumental in persuading Obama's campaign team to grant permission for Ferry to produce the work. Ferry said, I knew my biggest challenge was to portray Obama as both an exciting progressive and a mainstream patriot with vision. I decided to make a portrait of Obama largely because I felt his power and sincerity as a speaker would create a positive association with his likeness. I wanted it to be a portrait that was political in nature and that would de-racialize Mr. Obama by using a red, white and blue color palette that was patriotic. Ferry also wanted to capture Obama in a classic political pose, something that would elevate him to iconic status in the vein of people who have preceded him and were held in high regard in politics. The iconic three-quarters view, in which the subject is not turned directly towards the viewer's eyes, but is instead gazing upwards and to the side, which Ferry used, was inspired by this well-known JFK portrait. In early 2008, Ferry started work on his poster, using a photo taken by the Associated Press photographer, Manny Garcia. Ferry adopted a process he had used in previous work, a reduction of the image to four or five flat colours. Although it's not been directly stated by Ferry himself, many believe he's been influenced by the work of Andy Warhol and Ben Sean. Ferry's use of type is a crucial element within the design. Interestingly, on the original poster, the word progress was shown in a bold, modern, condensed sans serif typeface. Originally, only 700 posters were produced, 350 of which were sold, whilst the remaining were put up in public. Due to the Obama campaign's concerns about the troublesome connotations of the original wording, Ferry changed the slogan printed under Obama's image from progress to hope. With a shorter word, Ferry was able to make the type even bolder, changing the condensed to Gotham, a typeface originally commissioned by GQ magazine and designed by Tobias Frere Jones. Ferry used the proceeds from the initial sales to print 4,000 more posters. These were then distributed to Obama rallies before Super Tuesday. The image went viral. Demand for the portrait was so large that over the course of Obama's campaign, a total of 350,000 posters and 500,000 stickers were produced. The poster became the iconic image of the historic campaign. But the poster is almost as famous for what happened after Obama was sworn in as president. In 2009, Ferry sued Associated Press after it accused him of violating copyright laws by reproducing their image of Obama without crediting the news agency. He sought a court declaration saying he had not violated their copyright and that his use of the image fell under fair use laws. However, it was discovered that Ferry lied about the original photo that he used, as well as destroying documents that were relevant to the case. It leaves a slightly nasty taste in the mouth. Acknowledging Manny Garcia, the photographer, would have been an extraordinary example of online creative kinship. 